Okay, so we're going to have a look now at the second part of the question, and this is the steam locomotive wheel. So the steam locomotive wheel, we can see instantly that this is a larger item, much larger than the, the, the toy car, and it's also a, a lower volume production. It, it's not, the nature of it is not going to produce sort of hundreds of thousands of those. They're produced in, in reasonably low volume. So... I've started off, just started here by saying um, the wheel has been produced by sand casting. This is suited to a lower volume of production than the toy car. The wheel has been cast from now, we can say cast iron here or cast steel. Either of the materials would, would, would be suitable. Um, uh, has been produced from cast steel. Um, we can say that this material is tough and durable which make the hard so we said that it's it's tough and durable and then it makes the the um, wheel hard wearing now sand casting we could um, sand casting has would have a large former so we can try and draw locomotive wheel here it might be easier to draw a more simple shape but we can say that there's probably was a wood former and then obviously a Um, so we've said a wood former and a sand mould here. Really, I perhaps should draw the top part of that. Um, we could talk about the drag and the cope and make the accuracy of the wood former and the finish of the wood former. We can talk about um, including vents to allow the um, materials in. So perhaps I, I will... Okay, so as I say, I've kept this fairly simple just for time constraints, but I've showed them wood former, a sand mould, I've showed vents, I've showed the upper and uh, lower part of the mould, um, I've shown the molten metal that's poured into there and the vent that allows it to vent out. So that, that's the most basic. You could, you could spend more time on that, but as I say, I'm, I'm trying to move for, through it reasonably quickly. Um, so we can say that the that sand um, has um, cheaper
So sand casting, the, the materials, the sand and the, the drag and the coke, are cheaper to produce um, and in, to some extent reusable than making the steel mould for the car. So with a large item like the wheel, it is, the locomotive wheel, it's, it's cheaper to use that, 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 um, this method. Um, but the um, downside is that the surface finish of the product is much lower than die casting. So the wheel will need additional machining and finishing um, so we're saying the surface finish of the product is much lower than die casting so the wheel will need additional machining and finishing processes to complete it um, and lastly, obviously, because we're using cast iron and cast steel, the sand is much able to cope with these higher temperatures. So in um, contrast to the low melting point, so we could say in con to the low So, in contrast to the low melting point alloys used in die casting, sand casting is more suited to the higher melting points of cast steel. Um, so, obviously, if you're going to use a steel mould, you can't pour steel into a steel mould. Okay, so, again, this is 8 to 10 marks. This is in the higher mark category, so we've completed another. So that's our 20 marks from that first question.